boy. And today we have plyometrics. What are plyometrics? We've talked about it before, but essentially, plyometrics are a way of stressing the soft tissue, muscle, tendons, ligaments, joints, uh, in a way that we can train for the force uh, creation, force absorption, um, and it's also a great injury preventer. So you'll see a lot of track athletes, uh, basketball, um, things that require a lot of quick explosive movements um, that can have a heavy impact if the body is not prepared for the amount of force going uh, through these tissues. So that is why we work on plyometrics. The other reason aside from the explosiveness, reactive speed, injury prevention, um, is foot speed and coordination. So a lot of these will require some coordination, foot speed, uh, and that is ultimately why we do these. I'm sure, and I know there is plenty more. We could totally dive into the science behind it, but that is the nitty gritty uh, or the quick superficial side of it. Before we get started, my name is Mark. I am a doctor of physical therapy and snowboard instructor at Mount Bachelor in Bend, Oregon, along with my wife, Sarah, who is a health teacher, yoga instructor, personal trainer, etc. And we do all of this for snowboarders like yourself because we love it and we want to keep you riding until you're, you are 70 plus years old. I'm going to show you two ways to do these uh, movements. Um, I'll probably switch off and on between using the box and then I also have just a simple barbell um, if you have a small step, anything like that. Uh, because this is uh, as not as effective. This is a little bit easier, um, but you can still get similar, uh, you know, similar results. The box behind me obviously is a lot more intensive. Um, it will require a bit more preparation. Um, so if you're not used to doing plyometrics, definitely stick with something a little bit smaller. So today is kind of a beginner intermediate uh, base plyometric session. We are going to be doing five, six movements, uh, about eight to 10 reps total with about a 60 second break in between two sets. So we don't need a ton of repetitions for plyometrics. And before we do that, of course, I want to walk you through these movements. So first one being we are doing a box jump and box jump and tuck. Um, again, if you don't have a box, use a cooler, put a bunch of heavy weights in it, make sure it doesn't tip over, um, make something up. You, you know, you can grab anything. It can be uh, your treadmill if you wanted to do that, or it can be a barbell or something. It doesn't have to be fancy. So just like it sounds, box jump and tuck. So jump on the box, knees up, tuck jump. I'm not gonna jump too high because the ceiling is relatively low here, but I'll give you a good idea. So here we go. Make sure your feet clear the box. Soft landing, all right? So we're working on absorbing the landing this time. Other times you might work on stiff landing to build up the resistance in the tendons to create enough force when we need it on a split second. But today we're working on soft landings, all right? Next up, we do lateral step with a reactive lateral jump, all right? So we're working on that reactive speed. So that messaging between the brain and the muscle to create that movement as fast as possible. So just like it sounds, first of all, I do the lateral step, boom. As soon as my opposite foot comes down, it's a quick, all right? And then lateral step, doom. So it's a lot of foot speed, foot work, okay? There's a little bit of coordination involved. Go at your pace. Next, we have two to one step stabilize. So just like it sounds, I'm using the small step. You can also do this on the bigger, but I'm gonna show you just like I said. So two, quick reactive on the way back. So two, all right. So I, I did that two different ways. I did two, one down, one up. I also did two, two, one to stabilize. So choose your poison on that one. All right, so back to the boxes here, I'm gonna show you. We do reactive or quick 180. So my back is turned to the box, 180, box 90 degrees or 180 off, okay? So here we go. You can choose how far you want to spin and what direction. All right. Explosive push ups, just like they sound. 
I can get for those of you who can do them. It's nice stiff landing for your shoulders. If that is uncomfortable, absorb that a little bit. So working on that explosiveness with that push off. If you can't do that, I have a band. All right, band is gonna have that elastic property. And it's at an incline, so it's a little bit easier. I can move it up and down based on how it's feeling. All right, lastly, we have that reactive step off 180. So again, you can use this on the box. You can do this on the barbell. So I have that step off, I'm stepping off. As soon as I step off 180, I can go back the same way or another 180 the other direction. So just like this, quick feet, okay? So like I said, let's stick with eight repetitions to make this easy. If we're doing either foot, we're gonna switch, alternate back and forth. And now, let's begin. So two rounds, like I said, eight reps each. So starting off with box jump and tucks. All right, so you can go at my pace. You can go faster, you can go slower, but I'm just gonna show you on how to do it. I'm gonna do it with you and we'll go from there. Like I mentioned, I'm not gonna tuck as high as I could just because I'm gonna be pretty close to the ceiling. So here we go in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, almost done. Just kidding. Okay, lateral step up to reactive lateral. So these are gonna go fast. Like I said, remember, Lateral step up as soon as that foot touches, boom, it's quick to the other side. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Four. Ooh. Do one more. All right, nicely done. So, lateral work, I think it's undervalued. When you're sitting sideways, I would want my body to have a, the greatest understanding of how to react when I'm in a lateral frontal plane position or movement, all right? Obviously snowboarding, you're moving multiple planes up and down side to side, transverse, but primarily I'm gonna be stuck in this position or this position looking over my shoulder, all right? All right, two to one, step stabilize. So remember, you can do two, two and stabilize or two, one, one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can hold that position a little bit longer if you want to aid in that stabilization in the hip, knee, and ankle. All right. Okay, backwards 180, box jump to 90 degrees or 180 degrees off. All right. Choose your poison, choose your direction. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Two. Now, one thing I wanna make sure, I'm completely on the box, not like on the edge like I just was. Three. Like that. Four. Five, 
six. Seven. Eight. All right. Two left, okay? Explosive push-ups, remember, use the band if you need it. Here we go, three, two, stiff, start, if that makes sense. So, explosive down, back to a stiff start. If it's uncomfortable, add some flexion in your elbows. Three, two, one. Reactive step off 180 to 180. All right, here we go. This one is for speed, fast feet. Here we go in three, two, one. Two. Three. Four. I can do this a couple ways. I can lead with my shoulders, making sure that my hips stay in line, or I can counter rotate. I can do with my hips first and then bring my shoulders. Generally, momentum is going to be started here, but with most things, unless I'm jibbing or whatnot, I want to stay in line, or at least initially start and then bring my hips, whip them around. I think that was five. Six, seven, and done, okay? So we take 60 seconds, we start all over again. But let's start from the bottom, move our way up, okay? So last exercise is not gonna be the first exercise. That last one, by the way, for those of you who are recovering from a hip, knee injury specifically, those are great. You might want to slow them down obviously, but there's a fear factor based uh, with twisting, that twisting motion if you have labral tears, ACL, MCL, things like that. So it's a good one to ease back into, obviously slow it down and potentially even cut it in half, 90 degrees. All right, so less talking. And boom. Okay, grab some water. Hopefully you got your sweat on. I certainly did. <sighs> Make sure we're diaphragmatic breathing. I have some water here. I'm gonna drink some of that. We have about 30 seconds left. You get the sweet, sweet sounds of me drinking water. <laughs> Whatever fear that is. Okay, 15 seconds. Remember, we're starting bottom up, reactive step offs to 180, 180. I really need to come up with better names for these, but. And so that's is the way it is. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, okay, one down. Next, banded explosive push-ups. I'm gonna show you with this, obviously I can do them without, but I wanna make sure that you understand. Another way to do them is lower this enough so it's underneath my chest and push off of it, really bounce to, to help with that. The reason I'm not going back and forth is because I don't want this to come off. 
it's pretty tight on there, but I don't exactly trust it 100%. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Four, five, six, seven. That's harder than it looks actually, because that base that I'm pushing off of is very unstable. So it's great for shoulders, those who are recovering from uh, stability challenges. Okay, backwards 180 to box jump, 90 off, okay. My favorite. All right, again, quick, quick, quick. All right, feet completely on the box, 90 degrees off, or 180, or 360, whatever you are most comfortable with. In three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, last one, good job, two to one, one step stabilizers, okay, you know the drill. I'm gonna do two, two, one this time. Three, two, one. Oops, slip there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, you can take longer rest times. I'm just kind of breezing through this to keep my heart rate up because that's what I like to do. I like to mix these into hit based movements so it's very efficient. I don't have to do another workout after this. Oh, here we go. Lateral step with that reactive lateral, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you this time. Move this just for a second. All right, so just like last time, boom, 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 boom. All right, got it, here we go. Three, four, who did that wrong? Six, seven, okay, very good. Let's put this away, out of the way at least. We have one more. One more left. All right, box jump to a tuck. When you're ready, in three, two, one. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's my proof. All right, nicely done. That's a wrap. So any questions, concerns, anything at all, do not hesitate to reach out. That was pretty good. That was, what are we at? 26 minutes, so 20 minutes or less, minus me jabbering and warming up. Not too bad. Anyone can do this. Make sure to listen to my cues. If a box is too much, everything can be done on that weight or some sort of small surface. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all 